Welcome to American Barbecuers. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about one of the sides that I make on the Z-Grill. Right here, we have a spaghetti squash. Very nice little squash. It gets very versatile. Um, you could use it as a side dish. You can use it as a main dish. Um, very great to use exactly like spaghetti. Um, you could do that as a full, full meal. Uh, if you're looking to go especially that vegetarian route uh, but today it's going to be used as a side uh, with what else I'm cooking so I've got one of the smaller spaghetti squashes what you want to do you want to get close to the middle and cut it and try to be as symmetrical as you can it may be a little tough with these squashes okay get it open like that you're going to have some larger seeds, kind of like you would kind of see in a pumpkin. Um, but you can very easily take a spoon and just pull this middle section out like so. Okay, and at this point, the actual overall meat of this squash is fairly hard. You can kind of see we're a little stringy right there. When the meat is done, it will be stringy like a spaghetti noodle. So we got that one there. I'm gonna take this one here. Real quick clean on it. You don't have to be too precise with this. You just mainly want to get these seeds out. Then from here, what we're gonna do, and I'll show you on this one. Take a little bit of olive oil and we just want to do a little drizzle on the inside. We're going to take my brush right here, my brush. Take our brush. I'm just going to rub it all over this squash like so. We're going to take our salt and pepper mixture, and you can be liberal with this. Okay, it's going to be hard to really over season this, which though you still can, because um, when we're done, we're going to mix it all together. So that seasoning will mix throughout. So you're going to a nice coat of olive oil, a nice little coat of salt and pepper. I'm going to go face down on a sheet tray. I'm going to put it on our pellet grill at 350. And we're going to cook it until the skin has started to turn a little bit brown. And when you touch and you push on your squash, it is really, really soft. So I'm going to finish this one up. I'm going to get it put on the grill. And when we come back, I'll show you how we finish our spaghetti squash. Okay. We've been running at about 375 for a little over an hour. We're about an hour and 15 minutes in on our spaghetti squash. I'll give it a turn here. There they are. What you're going to do, you're going to squeeze them. It should be nice and soft like they are now. So, at this point, I'm going to pull them off the grill and we're going to let them rest for about an hour. Uh, after resting, we will come back and I'll show you how to take uh, the spaghetti squash out of the grill. Okay, our spaghetti squash has rested for about an hour now. If you can tell, looks like little strings on the inside. That's why it gets the name spaghetti squash. Easiest way to get it out of the shell. You take a fork and you just go kind of against the way the strings run and just lightly scrape it out. And as you can see, it looks like spaghetti. This is a great alternative if you happen to have a gluten allergy or if you're on a diet, you can substitute this for spaghetti noodles. And that's what we're doing today because um, it does count obviously as a vegetable so from here 
you can just add a little more olive oil to it, a little more salt and pepper or whatever favorite seasoning you want if you want to spice it up a little bit. Um, you can just eat it like that. What we're going to do, we're going to take this and we're going to treat it like spaghetti. We're going to top it with a little bit of marinara sauce and Parmesan cheese. Um, but there you have it, a nice side dish of spaghetti squash.